In this example, we're given that a coin is tossed twice and we're asked to find the probability of getting heads and heads. It's important to understand that the two coin tosses are called independent events because the outcome of the first coin toss does not affect the outcome of the second coin toss. To find the probability of independent events, we first find the probability of each event, then we multiply the probabilities together. So in this problem, p of heads and heads means the same thing as p of heads times p of heads. So let's start by finding the probability of getting heads on our first coin toss. Since there's only one way to get heads in a coin toss, and there are two possible outcomes, heads or tails, the probability of getting heads on our first coin toss is one half. Next, let's find the probability of getting heads on our second coin toss, which would also be one half. So we have one half times one half. Now, multiplying across the numerators, one times one is one. And multiplying across the denominators, two times two is four. So one half times one half is one fourth, which means that the probability of tossing a coin twice and getting heads and heads is one fourth.